the angel of the Lord will tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. How Mary, from the grace of the Lord, is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. How Mary, from the grace of the Lord, is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. O Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Amen. Vedus Deus foti curva, et quare tristis paris tristis in genu cum fidi medicus. E mi deducem cum in veritatem tu, mi sve deducem un deducem et in montum sanctum tu omnes tabernacula tua. Et in joia voluntari Dei, et in veritivi Dei di uno tutum eum. Comite uti vincitura, Deus, Deus meus, quae tristis anima mea, et quare dun tobas me. Spere Deo, quare me tocca fidevo ili, salutare vultus me, et Deus meus. Gloria, Patri, Figno, e Spirito, e Santo, si godera di principio, e nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. In tua volatare Dei, e in tua vitifica di un tutto meo, auditorum nostro in nome Domini, qui fece cenum et terra. Confitio de amico tenti mia, de Maria, del Virgine, mia, de Dane, de Angelo, mia, di Maria Battista, e Santi Quasti, Spesso, il Paolo, mia, di Maria Maria, di Anni, Omnibus Santi, il Mobis, Fate, e Spria, del Cavino, mi sto agitazione, e Dei volo d'opera, Meo culpa, meo culpa, meo maxima culpa. E io credo che ad amare il Signore di Dio, di adottare la tante, non di adottare la battista, un santo sposo, stesso e solo, e ad amare il Signore di Dio, di adottare la tante, non di adottare la tante, non di adottare la tante, orrare con me, donna di Dio. E di adottare il Signore di Dio, di adottare il Signore di Dio, di adottare il Signore di Dio, di adottare il Signore di Dio. Confiti, O Deo Onipotente, inviate Maria, Sempre Virgine, inviate in Italia, Cangelo, inviate Giovanni Battista, Santi Sposti, Dispetto, il Paolo, Omnibus Santi, se ti vi parte, per il Padre di Ministro, Agitazione, per il Volta Opere, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. E le opere regole atta a Maria, Sempre Virgine, inviate in Italia, Cangelo, inviate in Giovanni Battista, Santo Sposto, Dispetto, il Paolo, Mamma, Santo, se te e Padre, Orrare con me, a Dominum del nostro. Miseriato vesci, mi fotenze, e vesci di misplicati vesci, spedurca in vostra vita, metta in amo. Abri, indulgenze, ma sussione, metta in missione, in vero torno, solo in tibio, e non mi sono di fotenze, misericordi, omnibus. Abri, e lo soccomverso, sui fedicati, in amo. E in plenso, in età, vittoria in te, ma non stendi, non mi sto, ma di misericordia in tua, e di salutare tu, un danibus. Dominum, e tra di l'azione, e me, e clamo me, se te bene. Dominus vobis cum et cum spirito tuo. Orlebus. Justus ulpamo florebis, nico centris libani multiplicabitur, plantatus in domo domini, et atriis domus dei nostri. Bonum est confiteri domino, et senere nomini tu altissime. Gloria, Padre, Figlio e Spirito di Santo, si coderà in principio e non che sempre, e in secola seculorum. Amen. Justus un Paolo Florebi, si cogentus liberi multiplicabitur, plantatus in Domo Domini e nati Domus Dei nostri. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in arpex hominibus vone voluntatis, alamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, grasitacimus tibi corrupte magum gloriam tuam, 
Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Unicotens, Domine Filuri Genita e Jesus Christe, Domine Deus, Onius e Filius Patris, qui tolis peccato mundi e miserere nobis, qui tolis peccato mundi e suscive, deprecazione nostra, in sede se dexterem patris, miserere nobis, quali antus solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Jesus Christe, cum sanctus spiritu in gloria dei patris. Amen. Ex obis et cum spirito tu, Ordemus. Deus, qui nos piazzi Pauli confessoris tui annua solemnitate rectificas, concede propitius, ut cuius natalitia paribus etiam actionis imitebur. Per nominum nostrum, Iesu Christum, Filium tuum, qui pecum vivida regna in veritatis Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde Pus. Intergessio nos caesmus domine viazzi mauri e patris comende, ut quod nostris meritis non credemus eus patrocinio e sequamur. Per nominum nostrum, Iesu Christum, Filium tuum, Qui pecum vivida regna ad humanitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Nex vi pistole viazzi pari apostoli e filipenses. Fratres, que mihi fuerunt lucra, he capitatus sum prote Christum detrimenta. Verum tamen existimo omnia detrimentum esse prote reminentem scientiam Iesu Christi Domini nostri. Domini me. Prote quem omnia detrimentum feci, et abitur ut ser cora, ut Christum lucrificiam, et invenia limino non habent meam justitiam, que ex lege est, sed iram, que ex fide est, Christi Iesu. Que ex Deo est justitia in fide, et conoscentum ilum, et vetutem resurrectionis eius, et societatem actione milius, configuratus morti eius, si quo modo occurram ad resurrectionem, que es et motuis. Non quod iam e ceperem, aut iam perfectus in, se quod autem, si quo modo comemprehendam, in quo comprehensus sum, a Christo Iesu. Deo gratias. Justus ut amo flore ebi, si potentus liberi multiplicabitur in novo Domini, ad annunciando mani misericordiam tuam et veritatem tuam per noctem. Alleluia, alleluia, justus geminamit sicut lilium et flore ebit in aeternum ante Dominum. Alleluia. Dominus Obispum, et cum Spirito Tuo, se sequentia sancti Vangelii secundum Matteum, Gloria tibi Domine. In ino tempore, respondenti Iesus dicit, Confidio tibi Pate Domine Ceri et Terre, quae abscondisti haec a sabientibus et prudentibus, et revelasti e pauguis. Ita Pater, quauriam sic fuit placitum ante te. Ami amici tradita sunt a Patre meo, et nemo nove filium nisi Pater. Neque Pater in quis nevit, nisi filius, et qui volueri filius revelare. Venite ad me, omnes, qui laboratis et onorazzi estis, et ego reficiam vos. Valite e gugum meu supe vos, et discite a me, qui amici sum et humilis corde, et imperietis requiem animamus vestis. Gugum meu meum suave est, et onus meum leve. Laus tibi Christi. On this feast of St. Paul the First Hermit, the epistle is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Philippians. Brethren, what once stood to my credit, I now write down as loss for the love of Christ. For that matter, there is nothing I do not write down as loss compared with the high privilege of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For love of him I have lost everything. Treat everything else as refuse, if I may have Christ to my credit. In him I would render my account not claiming any justification that is my own work, given me by the law, but by the justification that comes from believing in Jesus Christ. God's gift 
on condition of our faith. Him I would learn to know, and the virtue of his resurrection and what it means to share his sufferings, moulded into the pattern of his death in the hope of achieving resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already won the prize, already reached fulfilment, I only press on in hope of winning the mastery as Christ Jesus has won the mastery over me. And the Holy Gospel is a continuation of that according to St. Matthew. At this time Jesus said openly, Father, who art Lord of heaven and earth, I give thee praise that thou hast hidden all this from the wise and the prudent and revealed it to little children. Be it so, Father, since this finds favour in thy sight. My Father has entrusted everything into my hands. None knows the Son truly except the Father, and none knows the Father truly except the Son, and those to whom it is the Son's good pleasure to reveal him. Come to me, all you that labour and are burdened. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon yourselves and learn from me. I am gentle and humble of heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Ave Maria, grazie plena Dominus Tecum, benedicat nun lieribus e benedictus in presentis tui, Iesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et rurale motis nostre. Amen. In nomine Patris e Filii e Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi, beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this, as we said, the Feast of St. Paul, the first hermit, uh, confessor of the faith, and also, too, of St. Maurus, uh, abbot. Uh, we apologise for the uh, late... Uh, this, the tardiness of uh, today's broadcast. Uh, as some of you will know, Wednesday is our homeless drop-in day. We're a little short of staff, uh, so I had to get things ready for breakfast uh, before coming through uh, to say Mass, which also means that this homily, I'm afraid, will be more of a feverino today uh, rather than the sermon that I usually end up uh, 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 delivering to you. The breviary, uh, the, no, St Paul, uh, known as the first hermit uh, because he is uh, considered to be uh, the, the uh, known, at least, uh, first Christian uh, to have taken himself out into the desert deliberately uh, to uh, search for and be with God. Uh, that is essentially uh, what uh, the, Amer the hermetical life is about, uh, is uh, about uh, finding and achieving uh, a true sense of union uh, with God in this life. Now, as we've reflected this past week, uh, all of us are called as Christians who are not called to marriage, uh, but all of us otherwise as Christians uh, are called to live a religious life. Now, we're not all necessarily called to be religious, by which I mean we're not all necessarily gifted with a vocation uh, to become monks and nuns. But effectively, the, soul, the single Christian, uh, idealistically, is, of course, uh, to live as close a life to that of monks and nuns and hermits uh, uh, as, uh, rather than uh, the life of, that single people might live in the world around us with the worldly attitude and approach that they have. Rather, the Christian... Uh, both single and indeed married, is to consider first and foremost above all things God uh, as having priority and the first call of one's time in one's life and secondly to dedicate everything in one's life to God. And as I said yesterday and I've said a few times the past week, the way to think about this is to remember that essentially our first duty as Christians is to pray and strictly speaking, all of us as Christians then, if we were to truly fulfil, literally as it were, the obligations uh, of ours in demonstrating our love and fidelity toward God, we would be in church 24-7, or we would be prayer and, in prayer and praising God full-time wherever we are. But of course, the life is such, uh, and there are many calls upon our time too, so that... If then we have to reprioritize how we spend our time, in the first instance then our default position should always be prayer. Then if we are having to do uh, tasks, if we have work, we have a job, we have schooling and education, uh, we have housekeeping and uh, 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 children and uh, elderly relatives or dependents to look after, 
then that of course will take time away from our first obligation and duty and call upon our time, which is prayer. So then, what we may do is, as Benedict commended and as the hermits in the hermetical tradition began, is combine work and prayer together, ora et labora, so that while we are engaged in our various tasks, we may either uh, seek to continue to offer prayer and praise while we're doing them, or we may seek to offer them uh, to God's glory. Any task, for example, uh, that needs accomplishment, we might seek to glorify God by it. And it doesn't matter how menial, and it doesn't matter how uh, important. Indeed, it doesn't matter if it's business, it doesn't matter if it's if the ultimate uh, aim, perhaps, uh, of the said task is not altruistic, not charitable, and not religious. It doesn't matter. We can seek to glorify God in all things. We should, essentially, as Christians, be trying to sanctify everything in our lives. Just as we were sanctified by our baptism, wholly and completely, body, mind, and spirit, we should be continuing then in our lives as Christians to spread, as it were, that sanctification so that it reaches into all aspects of our lives, so that God is indeed uh, loved and worshipped by us continually in our lives. Now, there are some among us uh, who struggle to achieve that uh, in the ordinary way uh, that uh, some of us uh, can, and so they take themselves off, they separate themselves from the world and uh, become reclusive, become hermits. Uh, St Paul is the first known to have uh, uh, achieved, as it were, uh, and to become a master uh, in this tradition. He, of course, then would teach St Anthony, whose feast day also occurs later uh, uh, in a few days' time. So, there is much, my brothers and sisters, that, contrary to popular belief, that we as Christians ought to take and learn from the example uh, of uh, hermits like St Paul. Many of us think that monks and nuns and hermits uh, have just deserted the world, have uh, just left the world. And to some extent, of course, that is true. But on the other hand, uh, what they achieve by doing so, we can learn from ourselves. The depth of uh, prayer and learning and study uh, that they are able to achieve benefits the whole church. For, of course, uh, we have now almost 2,000 years of collective experience and writings uh, from the lives of those holy men and women who have consecrated themselves in the religious life and in the uh, aromatical tradition. And if we were to take the time to read uh, about it, uh, we would indeed be edified and indeed educated uh, concerning uh, not just uh, the spiritual life, and not just about theology and spiritual matters, but also, too, about this aura et labora, about uh, how to sanctify everything within one's life. The breviary uh, retains an edifying legend concerning uh, St Paul. Uh, one day, St Anthony, who I've just made mention of, then 90, was divinely inspired to visit the hermit Paul. Though they had never met previously, each greeted the other correctly by name. While they were conversing at length on spiritual matters, the raven that had always brought Paul half a loaf of bread came with a whole loaf. As the raven flew away, Paul said, See, the Lord who is truly good and merciful has sent us food. Every day for sixty years I have received half a loaf, but with your arrival Christ sent his servants a double ration. Giving thanks, they ate by a spring. After a brief rest, they again gave thanks, as was their custom, and spent the whole night praising God. At daybreak, Paul informed Antony of his approaching death, and asked him to fetch the cloak he had received, uh, so Paul, that he might wrap himself in it. Later, as Line, which uh, I commend to you and suggest to you that you might uh, take some time perhaps to do a Google search today uh, and read some of the edifying material you will find there. We also, of course, commemorate today St. Maurus. Um, in Benedictine history, Maurus holds 
a distinguished place. He was a disciple taught and trained by St. Benedict himself. While still very young, Maurus and another youth, Placid, were brought by their parents to be reared in monastic life by the patriarch of monks, Benedict. An incident reveals Maurus' spirit of childlike obedience. One day, Placid was sent to a nearby lake to draw water. Soon he was at the shore where, boy that he was, he fell victim to his own heedlessness. Eager to fill the vessel quickly, he reached out too far and was dragged in by the rapidly uh, filling jar. He was being borne along by the waves when from his cell, St. Benedict realised what had happened. Hurry, run to the lake, Placid has fallen in, he called to Maurus. Stopping only for his spiritual father's blessing, Maurus sped to the lake, seized Placid by the hair and brought him ashore. Imagine his shock and amazement when he realised that he had run some distance on water. His explanation? Such a miracle could not have happened save by virtue of his master's command. Sir Gregory the Great relates this incident in his second book of Dialogues, along with much other interesting detail from the life of St. Benedict. Indeed, Maurus is so uh, bound up, so confident uh, in his master's blessing uh, that he did not notice that he had traversed water to uh, retrieve his brother Placid from the river. In stark contrast, of course, to that other disciple uh, who once uh, had less confidence in his master and attempted to walk across the water and sank. If we, my brothers and sisters, might take uh, some encouragement or a lesson today from the life of St. Maurus, it is to have total confidence and trust in God. Indeed, my brothers and sisters, in these difficult times uh, for us all, globally, uh, there is uh, so much going on in the world uh, that is negative. We must hold on to our faith. We must remain steadfast in our hope and not give in uh, to despair and hopelessness. We have no need to give in to despair and hopelessness, for if God is with us, as the Apostle says, who can be against? We know, my brothers and sisters, that God is with us. Emmanuel, God with us, that was the theme essentially of the Nativity, that our God in Christ became one of us so that we might become one with him. And that is realised for us in his resurrection life, which we now share in by virtue of our baptism. Let us never forget, my brothers and sisters, that we are always being blessed by God. We always have God's blessing. We have only to collaborate and cooperate with it, allow it to work within us and through us and transform us and allow us to be a blessing to others. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum et cum Spirito Tuo. Ordemus. In virtute Tua Domine et habito justus, et supra salutare Tuam exaltabit, vemen desiderium anime eus tribuisti.
secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus obiscum et cum spirito tuo, susum corda, ave musa et dominum, gracias et amus domino Deo nostro, ignum et justum est, e vered ignum et justum et te come salutare nostri vi sempre et ubi quae grazie et agere et domine sante pater, onnipotenza et tene Deus, e Christum domino nostrum pecum e statum tuum laudo d'angelo e adorante omenazioni stremus potestates, ceri ce rumpe vetute et beate serafim, soci sutrazioni non celebrant, Un vivo de nossos voces, un temitio veste precamur, suplici e confessione di genes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sameata, plenis un celi et terra gloria tua, osagna in excelsi. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Osanna, in excelsis.
this work with like a belly boost. Terram ja sekula sekulorum Amen. Orre, sprecia di sanitaribus mariti, de vides rutsiali formati, audemus dice. Vada noster quesi celi, sanctivi ceitum nomutum, ad veni ad reimutum, fiebulum tras tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Padre nostro, quotidiano de nobis hodie, dimite in nobis, debita in nostra, sigle nostri mitimus debitoribus nostris, e ne nos inducas in tentazione. Se libra nossa mano. Terra mia secula seculorum. Amen. Ais a domini sit semperno vobiscum et in spirito tu. Agnus Dei, qui tale speccato mundi misericordia. Agnus Dei, qui tale speccato mundi misericordia. Agnus Dei, qui tale speccato mundi misericordia. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tali peccato mundi. Domine, non sum dignum sud intressu tectum meum, se tentum de guembo et sen abitur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignum sud intressu tectum meum, se tentum de guembo et sen abitur anima mea. Domine, non sum dignum sud intressu tectum meum, 
सैद्धांतम देख वैम बहुत सन दावी दुरारी मामा Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament. We invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though Thou wert already there, I embrace Thee and unite myself wholly to Thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Tabitur Justus in Domino es per rabiti Deo, et adabuntur ramnes recti corde. Dominus obiscum, et cum spirito tuo, Refetici babo tu pae celesti Deus naste, de supplices ex oramus, ut in cuius hae commemoratione pecepibus, eius muriamo oret precibus. Per Dominum nostrum Iaesu Christum filium tu, et hae cum vir de regni ad humanitatis spiritus sancti Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde. Protega nos Domine cum tui percepcioni sacramente beatus maurus abus, abas, pro nobis intercedendo, ut et confessationis eius experiamur insignia, 
et in accessionis percipiamus suffragia. Per nomino nostrum Iesu Christum Filium Tum, qui tecum vivida regna ad unità di Spiritus Sancti Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Nomino suaviscum et con spirito tuo, vita e misa est, Deo gratias. In nome Domini benedictum, in salmo produsco, in secula auditorium nostrum, in nome Domini, qui fece cielo e terra, benedicat vos omnipotent Deus. Pater e filius e spiritus sanctus, Amen. Domino suaviscum, et con spirito tuo, inizium santi evangelii secundum Giovannem, gloria a Tibi Domine. In principio et verbum, et verbum, et capo Deum, et Deus, et verbum, hoc erat in principio a Deum, omni Christo factus, omni simso factum, et nilum per factum est. In imso vita erat, et vita erat, plus hobbin, plus in terne, plus luce, et eterno, verbum non comprehenderum, cui tomo visto sedeco, ne verrà ci vanes. In verità est muri, mut 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 Nome vita nei lux, e nutre su morbi e pere tu lumine, ere lux vere, qua lumine, at omnem homine, e veniente me nun mundum. E mundo e rato, mundo spremso un factus, est un mundo non tu mi obi, di propri veriti tu, e tu e eum non deceperum. Qual qual auta emu receperum, te eum des forestatum, figlio ste, fieri, chius, chi fregge nomine eus. Qui non è sangue di mus, nec volutati, cani, nec volutati, viri, se il deo nati sum. Ne verum, carro, factum est, e tramitavi di nomi, se venimus gloria, meus gloria, quasi un genete a parte, per un grazie e verità. Neo gracias. How many through grace and all these we need blessed are our own women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. How many through grace and all these we need blessed are our own women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now to the hour of our death. Amen. How many for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed are our among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now to the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for by the children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn, then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement and loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who art our refuge and our strength, who have mercy on thy people who cry to thee, and by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, and thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all thy saints, in mercy, goodness, hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan, and all wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy upon us, most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy upon us. May St. Paul, the first hermit, pray for us. St. Maurus, abbot, pray for us. St. Catherine of Stenning, pray for us. St. Wilfred of York, pray for us. St. Richard of Chichester, pray for us. St. Louis of Alfreston, pray for us. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Our holy guardian angels, pray for us. Our heavenly patron saints, pray for us.